Hello everybody, and here is the tour of the Eastern Archery Center of Excellence by Shoreshot Archery. All this video was taken at the SoCal Showdown, so uh, this is actually the compound field. The recurvers are using a different field. So uh, they really got a nice setup down here, you know, some nice big trees, gorgeous field, field's ridiculous. Um, I'll give you a nice tour of that later though. Uh, we're going to be heading down uh, through the front entrance in a moment here. And there it is. Okay, now we're going to go head through the front doors of this joint. Um, there's some signage and stuff. You can just pause the video and uh, take a look at it. So uh, we're going to go take a look at this uh, Coaches 2 room. I guess uh, they have some coaches offices in here. You know, might as well take a look and uh, show you guys wh what's up. Also, uh, the, uh, the shooting center here is filled with a lot of really great uh, archery pictures. So that was kind of cool. I thought I was going through like a archery art exhibit. So we're going to turn around here and we're going to head towards the indoor 70 meter shooting range. But first, we're going to go past the reception desk. So as you can see, there's a lot of shooters in there uh, practicing. But before we head in, we're going to take a quick look at uh, this hallway and uh, the bathrooms right over here. No, we're not going inside, but uh, we'll be talking about that area out there uh, in a few minutes. But here is a nice uh, wall with dedication to the 1992 Olympics and just a whole bunch of USA archery you know, history in general. Um, we're not going to walk down that hallway. The shooters are on the other side. There's a wall, yes, but uh, I don't feel it's necessary to go down there. Alright, now we're actually going to go into the shooting range itself. Alright, here is another uh, coach's room. And look at the size of this range. That is uh, quite an impressive uh, building there and uh, a very unique uh, design on it on how the roof uh, you know, starts high and then goes low as the arrows would naturally drop towards the target so it was kind of cool that it, it kind of works with the flow of uh, you know with the arc of the arrow and how it uh, goes into the target um, a nice side note thing here is they actually have an elevated platform and I think they're using this to uh, simulate shooting on the platforms at the gold and bronze medal matches for the World Cups All right, now that we left the indoor shooting range, we're going to head upstairs and check out what's uh, what's going on up there. All right, now that we're upstairs, let's go and, and see what's happening. More uh, archery art. And uh, here's a little paragraph about the upper lobby if you want to pause the video and take a look. Alright, so first we're going to go to the 
upper balcony here. All right, and there's there's a nice office to look out of. I'm gonna see the whole range from where you're sitting, and uh, there's a there's there's quite a view from up there, and it's a, actually like a really neat perspective to uh, to view the shooters from. All right, now let's continue on and uh, see what else is uh, going on up here. <laughs> the target down at the end of the hall. All right, they got a cafeteria. No, I'm sorry, I did not check the fridge to see what USA Archery's favorite pudding is. I know, my bad. Next time. All right, now that we're out of the cafeteria, let's head to the next room. Now, uh, take note here that I have never been in this building before, so this was all new to me. Oh, look, a classroom. Now, it is cool that they did spend the time to go and find uh, archery bathroom signs. I thought that was pretty, uh, pretty special. Here's the plan if we need to evacuate. <laughs> and there's the target all the way at the end. That's gotta get people going. <laughs> Alright, look at that. A whole room full of nothing but USA shirts. And gear. Alright, I think we're rounding the, uh, the end here. We've got a storage room, another bathroom, and this neat window. This is pretty cool. So we're actually watching the archers walk back from the targets at 70 meters. But uh, look at that. What a setup. Uh, another random storage room. Looks like it had things related to like targets and stuff, but... So I'm going to go out this door here, I'm going to check out the balcony. And again, man, they really spent uh, some time and, well, money too, putting in some really fantastic views uh, for, for viewing archery. Not only can you see the whole line, but you can pretty much watch the arrows sail down there. Um, really great. Uh, looks like here they were actually finishing up the compound matches. Uh, okay, so now we're back to the field. We uh, went out of the building. Now we're going to show you the actual field itself from the ground to level. Um, again, they're doing uh, compound elimination matches. So this is the second day of shooting. Alright, and uh, here's the last spot uh, we haven't taken a look of. Uh, now, th this is filled with like, a lot of vendors and stuff, and people were just storing equipment here, but they actually have designated rooms for the athletes staying here. So this is the arrow shop, and you know it's filled with beverages and stuff for the tournament, but I'm sure normally it's filled with much more uh, archery equipment and plenty of things to fix your arrows. 
All right. Here's the athlete storage center. Now, I'm not too sure if any of these doors are actually locked, but I figured it wasn't my business going in there anyway. So, uh, you know, I felt it wasn't, it wasn't necessary. And you guys got a good uh, view of what it looks like uh, to begin with just from the, uh, you know, the glass window. Another office. So uh, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, tour I gave. Um, I thought this place was amazing. Hope you did as well. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Happy shooting.